Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss an important topic, which is uh, very important to know for any medical student or junior doctor learning to interpret chest X-rays, the uh, air flow level. So let's uh, discuss what exactly is an air fluid level on a chest X-ray. So if you look at this X-ray, you can clearly see that uh, the abnormality is on the left side. And then if you concentrate on the abnormality, you can see that there is a straight line here. And uh, on top of that straight line, you can see black area and below that line, there is white area. So this line separates an uh, area of air and fluid. Due to low density, air rises to the top and fluid settles at the bottom. So this type of finding is only possible when there is both air and fluid in the thoracic cavity. This air and fluid can be inside the lung or it can be outside the lung as well. which, and uh, if we discuss the causes of this air fluid level, the common causes is that there can be a cavity with fluid, fluid settles down, air rises to the top, and it gives appearance of air fluid level. And causes of a cavity with the fluid air fluid level can be abscess, or it can be cancer, and there are certain other causes as well. And the second cause of air fluid level is a hydrodimothorax. As you know from the previous videos, that uh, infusion does not give a straight level. In infusion, there is a concavity or meniscus sign is present. So when a straight, straight level is present, you should not call it as pleural effusion. You should be saying it as hydrodimothorax. And another cause of Air fluid level is an infected bulla. So, if a bulla gets infected, there is fluid inside it, and it can also give rise to similar appearance on a chest X-ray. So, this was all about air fluid level on a chest X-ray. If you want to know, or if you want to discuss any chest X-ray, you can write about it in the comments or send me a WhatsApp message.